Are you looking for an affordable lithium battery? One that's powerful? One that's reliable? Well, Pites is out with their brand new lithium battery and we are super impressed with the performance and the vast applications that this battery can be used for. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Pites V5. I'm James, engineering and sales manager here at NAS Solar Electric and I'm plugging you into solar. One C, charging and discharging. That means that one of these batteries, which is a five kilowatt hour battery, can deliver one C, one times its capacity, which is five kilowatts of power, right? We can charge it with five kilowatts of power. Take two batteries, we can do 10 kilowatts of power. You got 10 kilowatt hours of storage, we can do 10 kilowatts of power, input, output. That is impressive. That means that we do not have to focus our designs as much on the power limitations of a battery, like old traditional lithium battery systems. It was a really important consideration to focus on the power that the battery could deliver. But now that these batteries are much more powerful and we can do one C, we can just focus on the system design, focus on the needed capacity and less on how big the inverter is in relation to the battery. Why can't lithium batteries be charged below freezing, all right? Th this situation does not affect discharging as much as it affects charging, okay? Below freezing charging, it's a problem, all right? So without going into like crazy chemistry details, but elaborating a little bit on the actual battery principles themselves, we have lithium ions transferring back and forth within this battery, okay? Small amounts of lithium ions. When the temperature of the battery goes below freezing, the pores which these ions have to go into get smaller and smaller. Colder temperatures constrict things. So to prevent this, pipes put into this V5 battery internal heating, all right? So if the batteries get too cold, the battery can use energy to warm itself up. Now it doesn't require a lot of energy and the temperature has to be internally. So when you combine these batteries with a quality enclosure, they can be put into very cold environments and still function perfectly with respect to charging. Lithium battery safety is very important. There are a lot of solutions out there that are very cheap, but they are not safe. And that is a very important consideration with our engineering team when we put together a solution, we want to make sure that solution is going to be safe, it's going to be reliable, it's going to perform as expected. So safety is pivotal on our design considerations. These batteries have gone through rigorous third-party safety testing by nationally recognized testing laboratories. They are UL 1973 listed, they have gone through UL 9540A testing, for thermal runaway and they are UL 9540 listed with a variety of very common inverters, for example, Solark. When we're designing with lithium batteries, it is incredibly important that our systems have closed loop communications. This allows the entire system, the inverter system, the batteries to understand what is going on. Without closed loop communications, the inverter system is kind of clueless with respect to the batteries and the batteries aren't able to communicate what they need. So closed loop fixes this and Pites has this locked down. They have this figured out. These batteries can communicate with all sorts of popular products on the market, including Solark, including Victron, very common products for us to be using with our systems. And that's why our team really liked this battery. Just to show you how easy it is to set up closed loop communications with these Pites batteries, we're gonna connect one of these batteries up to a solar converter and just show you how simple it is. We are talking about closed loop communications between the Pites battery and the solar converter. So with that communication, you're gonna need a dedicated UTP cable that has the correct pinout for the communications between the Pites battery and the solar. Okay, we can provide you with this cable. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna adjust the dip switch so that the communications uh, protocol 
between Solar and Pites. The Pites battery knows what it is. You're gonna take the second dip switch, you're gonna put it up. It's that simple. That's all you gotta do with the battery besides turn it on. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this battery on here. That's gonna get going. Now, on the inverter, it's really simple. Besides the battery connections, all you need to do is take this cable here, you're gonna plug it into the CAN port on the battery, and you're gonna plug it into the BMS CAN port on the inverter. That's it. Then all we gotta do is tell the inverter that it's working with a lithium battery, and it should be good to go. So we'll turn on the inverter, let it boot up. We'll go into the settings in the inverter and adjust the battery protocol settings for BMS lithium battery. Just tell it to turn on. The default configuration's good. So go in here, go to battery setup, go to BMS lithium battery, check that box, click OK, whammo. Now we got communications between them. We can go here, we can look right now. The battery is providing battery voltage to the inverter, internal battery voltage. It's providing SOC to the inverter. It's providing internal temperature to the inverter. And it's also defining the charging limits, current limits, and the discharging current limits. All programmed by the battery into the inverter, all the charging settings, everything's done now. Like, I could go install this, facilitate the communications, and everything's done. It's that simple with respect to the batteries. We are really impressed with the Pites batteries. As far as system scale is concerned, we can do 14 batteries on a single configuration stack without needing a hub. So that means that your initial system design can be up to 14 batteries without needing any additional accessories. Each of the batteries would just communicate to one another. If we need to go larger, we can actually do 16 of these batteries in a group and we can do seven groups in a system. It works out to like 112 batteries, way more than anybody would typically need uh, for residential installations, like 500 plus kilowatt hours of storage. So very dynamic solution, very expandable. And in most installations, you're not gonna need to do more than 14 batteries in a stack before you even need to expand to more uh, communication, like communication hubs and such. If you're doing a large commercial project, give us a call. We'll help design and facilitate you know, the configuration for that type of system. We're really impressed with this product. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe. We've got more content on the way. Visit our learning center to learn more about some of the other products we offer, some of the concepts we can help you with the learning center. But if you have questions, you can chat in live to our team. Give us a call. We're standing by to help you design systems, to help you with product selection. We're here to plug you into solar.